Hey everybody, and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. In this lecture, we are going to save our new users to a database and to our new users table. And the first thing we're going to need to do to be able to accomplish this is to import some new things into our off.py file that we may already have in our main.py file. The first thing we're going to import is depends from fast API. Depends will allow us to create dependencies to the database function that we're about to create. We then want to import from sqlalchemy.orm a session. And from database, we want to import a session local and our engine. And now right under our bcrypt context, we want to create a new one liner called models.base.metadata.createAll and then as a parameter pass in the bind equals engine. This will create our databases and do all of the necessity things we need for our table if for some reason auth.py is ran before main.py. Let's now scroll down and right under app equals fast API, let's create our get database function with our try and finally that tries to create a session local of our database and then closes the database after it's used. We can accomplish this by saying def get db try db equals session local. yield db and then finally db.close and now let's scroll back down to our create new user and instead of returning our create user model Let's now add our create user model to our DB and then let's commit our DB. And we're getting some errors here and that's because we never passed in DB as a session which depends on getting our DB. So let's do that right now by saying DB of type session equals depends get DB. All right, let's save our application and let's make sure our terminal is running and let's open up our Swagger docs and refresh. Let's now go to create user and try it out. Again, I'm going to say username is coding with Roby. Email coding with Roby at gmail.com. First name is Eric, last name is Roby, and password is test1234 exclamation mark. And let's execute. We can see our curl command of post with all the information. We get a status 200 with a response body of null. And we get a response body of null, and that's because we don't actually return any information when this is called. However, let's open up another terminal by pressing the plus button. Let's cd into todo app. And now let's SQLite 3 into our todos.db. And let's say select all from users. And there we have it. And we can see our primary key of one, coding with Roby at gmail.com, coding with Roby as a username, Eric first name, Roby last name, our hashed password, and is active is true.
This wraps up the lecture on how we can save a user to the database. And I will see you in the next video.